In today's session, I'm going to be covering one of the most common questions I get from tenants when they move in. Can I paint the walls? So I'm going to be discussing as a property manager and as a landlord what we personally do. And this is to protect you, the landlord. First and foremost, we put it in all of our leases that if any type of painting is to occur in the unit, they need to both request it in writing and let us know that the color in which they're going to use. Typically, we'll also state that it has to be painted back to our standard color. And we have a standard color, it's Revere Pewter by Benjamin Moore. And why that's important is because we know that we can go into any unit and touch it up and not have to try to match colors and spend the expensive time and money doing so. And it's a very neutral color that we love, our tenants love as well. However, not all tenants love it, so they might ask to paint. And when they do, when we ask for those colors in advance, we want to make sure it's not something crazy like pink or black, but something neutral. And no matter what, we're going to ask them to paint it back to our colors. In addition, we make sure that they understand that if it's not done properly and there's any type of paint on baseboards, ceilings, or floors, we're going to hold them responsible for the repairs of that as well. And if and when the tenants leave, we give them set pricing of how much it is to paint a room, a wall, a ceiling, and any type of baseboards in the room so they know how much they're going to be responsible for. And upon our move out inspections, we're going to tell them, hey, if you don't paint this back by a certain date, we're going to have to charge you for it. So again, your property can go back to the state in which it was in, in a condition in that shows very well, and you don't have to worry about it. 